ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு லேர்ன் பாசிட்டிவ் வித் பிரதீப் குமார் டுடே டாபிக் இஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் ஒன் ஃபார் ஃபஸ்ட் இயர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டீடைல் சிலபஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் யூனிட் ஒன் சாப்டர் ஒன் எஸ்ஐ யூனிட்ஸ் பார்ட் ஒன் இஃப் யூ வாட்சிங் மை சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் லைக் ஷேர் கமெண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் டோன்ட் ஃபார்கர் டு கிளிக் த பெல் ஐக்கான் so the subject code is 30013 engineering physics 1 detail syllabus so in for diploma students we get unit 1 si units and statics in this unit 1 we have chapters chapter 1 units and measurements and chapter 2 statics the next unit 2 properties of matter chapter 1 elasticity and chapter 2 viscosity and chapter 3 surface tension these three are the chapters in properties of matter and in unit 3 dynamics 1 in dynamics 1 there are three chapters one is straight line motion and another one is projectile motion and next one is circular motions in chapter 4 dynamics 2 chapter 1 rotational motion of rigid bodies chapter 2 gravitation and chapter 3 satellites in unit 5 sounds and magnetism chapter 1 sound and chapter 2 magnetism these are the detailed syllabus and now we are going to see the unit 1 before that we have to know about physics so introduction for engineering physics so what is physics physics is the basic fundamental form of study and development of engineering and technology so physics used for the development of engineering and technology so it is the basic study without physics we cannot improve the technology or engineering so what is physics where the word come from so the word physics come from the word from the greek so in the greek word the meaning of physics is nature so the physics combined with nature whatever the earth belongs with have physics like balancing rotation the force all it comes in the physics today physics is treated as the most fundamental branch of science and finds numerous applications of life in our day to day life we use in in olden ages we use walking to travel one place from another and then we use transportations by like cycles bullet carts now we are using bikes and cars so the development of physics improves to give comfortable applications to our lifestyle without physics it is it cannot be happen physics deals with matter in relation to energy and the accurate measurement of the same thus physics is inherently a science of measurements so measurement what is measurement so physics deals with measurements like comparing one known quantity with the unknown quantity so it consists of comparison of a unknown quantity with a known fixed quantity like what so like we take now the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius and now we are going to measure the other waters so now i am going to measure the normal temperature in room temperature i am going to measure a water temperature and i will record it as it is below the boiling point that is 100 degrees celsius and then i am heating the water now i am getting a reading from that water now i am compare with that 
boiling temperature it was 40 degrees celsius below the boiling temperature it was 60 degrees celsius it is also below the boiling degrees celsius now it is going to be getting the boiling temperature it is equal to the boiling temperature 100 degrees celsius it is more than the boiling temperature now it is going to be evaporated so these are the measurements taken and compared with the known physical quantity these are the measurements what is quantity quantity in the here we have two types of quantities they are fundamental quantities and derived quantities what is fundamental quantity fundamental quantity or the units which cannot be expressed in terms of any other physical quantities so and now it is a day-to-day -day life measurements like length mass time uh, for example if you see a object you will see how length it was uh, how weight it was and what the time it requires to lift the box like that and what is derived quantities so derived quantities that can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities are called derived quantities like area volume density so if you see a box what will be the area of the box and how it consumes so what is the volume of the box and how uh, densities so what is the density of the box like that full uh, entire detail of that object comes in the derived units so what is unit the unit the quantity used as the standard of measurement is called units likewise the unit of physical quantity is defined as the acceptance standards used for comparison of given physical quantities the unit in which the fundamental quantities are measured are called fundamental units and the units which used to measure the derived quantities are called derived units for example a yeah, vegetable vendor weighs the vegetables in terms of units like kilogram and gram milligram like this so we use the gram kilogram and milligram for the weightage of the object if you are going to measure a human so foot centimeters and millimeters so he is a, a six foot man he is a 166 millimeter uh, centimeter and uh, he is 16,600 uh, millimeter like that we are going to measure the height so in the units by using the units height length weight like that so by differing the units we can understand what it will be in kilogram it is a weight in foot it is a height in length it is a centimeters like that so uh, we have different units in uh, length that is foot centimeter length like this so now uh, they are going to standardize the units so for that they are using SI units so what is SI units SI units is the abbreviation of system international D units and it is the modern term of metric system finally agreed upon at the 7th international conference of weights and measurements so they are finalize the uh, measurement units used for weights and measurements in the sorry 11th not the 7th 11th international conference so in held in 1960 so this system of units is now being adopted throughout the world and will remain the primary system of the units of the measurement. So SI units possess features that make it logically superior to any other system. So this system uh, is accepted worldwide and used worldwide. So this is the superior system when compared to the other systems. So in this SI units, there are seven fundamental units that is, that is basic units and two supplementary units. Uh, the seven fundamental units and two supplementary units will be explained on next video. Friends, if you are like this video, 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स कमेंट योर डाउट्स एंड डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू